Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the King and Pocket Aces brought to you by Roto Baller Radio. I'm your host, Pocket Aces Anthony Aniano, and joining me, my wonderful co-host, the King of Fantasy Sports, Mr. Scott Angle. Scott, NFL season week one, it's here. How you doing, my friend? Good. Good to be back. Uh, last year, everybody loved this feature where we're going to do sleeper and value plays every week of the NFL season, and it's going to be me and Anthony every week, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Whether season long or DFS, use these plays Scott and I throw at you and help guide you through the season. And guys, don't forget to win big in 2021 with Rotoballers.com's NFL Premium Pass. Are you ready to dominate your season long in DFS leagues? Rotoball or NFL's premium pass and draft kit includes rankings, projections, cheat sheets for all formats, get exclusive DFS tools, lineup optimizers, and premium Slack chat. Join in on the winning, take 50% off any premium pass, and use either the promo code KING for Scotty, the promo code ACES for myself, and save yourself an additional 10%. Visit rotoballer.com slash radio, sign up today, and start rotoballing, as they say, like a boss. All right, Scott, you mentioned it. Sleepers and value plays week one. We're going to go around the offensive horn here. I'm going to throw to you first. Who is your quarterback sleeper value play for week one? Very good super flex and DFS play. Revenge games don't get better than Sam Darnold against the Jets. His first game as a Panther come against the Jets. It's not just about the revenge game angle. It's about those receivers against the Jets' defense and secondary. The Jets improving on offense, but the defense is still an issue. Uh, Sam Darnold is going to be able to get the ball to his playmakers. In the passing game, he has so much of a different scenario than he did with the Jets, with all these playmakers surrounding him. McCaffrey can catch the ball out of the backfield and add to yardage for him. And then at wide receiver, you've got D.J. Moore coming up with two consecutive 1,100-yard seasons. Robbie Anderson, who he has familiarity with. Terrace Marshall, Jr., who had a great preseason. I just think there's too many playmakers on Carolina's set side of the ball in order for the Jets to handle. So I'm seeing a good first game for Sam Darnold with the Panthers. Love that pick. Myself, listen, it's going to be a common theme for me. I'm going to pick on the Detroit Lions right out of the gate week one. Jimmy Garoppolo. I know everybody's excited for Trey Lance, but it's still the Jimmy Garoppolo show. Detroit secondary was terrible. Gave up a ton of points last year to quarterbacks. Didn't do much to improve that team at all. And Jimmy Garoppolo has Debo, Brandon Ayuk, and a healthy George Kittle Scott. This is a nice opportunity for Jimmy Garoppolo to come out of the gate strong, for San Francisco to come out of the gate strong, and I love the opportunity for Jimmy Garoppolo week one against the Detroit Lions. Yeah, especially with Trey Lance hurt too, right? Absolutely. Lance, uh, that chip in his finger. And listen, Trey Lance had a nice spring. He was a highlight reel, but he wasn't consistent. Uh, and Jimmy Garoppolo has a nice start to his season. And again, that Detroit matchup is juicy, as Real Talk Rife Braff would say. Scott, let's slide over to the running back position. We each want to throw two running backs. Let me hear you. Your first one is. Another revenge game, but it just how it happens to be because what coincidence, it's not the main reason I'm doing it. Although Kareem Hunt should be very motivated to face the Kansas City Chiefs. But this is one of the highest totals on the board, 52.5 over under uh, on DraftKings Sportsbook. And this is going to be a high scoring game. I think that both Browns running backs can can eat here, but I think with the way the game script is going, I think Cleveland's going to have to throw a lot, and when they do, even if whether they get from behind or they're just trying to keep pace, I think that speaks to a lot of usage with Kareem Hunt against his former team this week. Okay, my number one running back, I'm staying in Detroit, doubling down with another veteran there, Raheem Mostert against that Lions defense. Keep picking on him, and I'm going to do it. Detroit was terrible last year against the run, gave up a ton of points. And again, same theme. They haven't improved that defense at all, potentially and arguably worse than last year. I know people like Trey Sermon. It's going to be Ra uh, Raheem Mostert to start. Lions allowed 19 rushing touchdowns this year. Raheem Mostert starts the season strong. He'll get in the end zone, in my opinion, 
at least once against Detroit. Scott, your second running back. Second running back, we're going to go with Chase Edmonds of the Arizona Cardinals in what should be another high-scoring game. I believe this total is a little, is at 50 uh, between the Titans and the Cardinals. And the Titans, you know, they have a they have a an offense that's capable of winning the AFC championship. The defense will be the question. Uh, can they get enough of a pass rush? I don't know if they can against Arizona. That's going to open things up for the running game too, uh, as well. There should be a lot of open space in the field for Chase Edmonds to make do. This could be another high scoring game and I can see him either taking a run or taking a swing pass and going to the house with this Chase Edmonds, a uh, bigger role this year. I think it begins in week one. My second running back and maybe somebody say, Hey, he's not a sleeper, but I will say this. If you drafted Gus Edwards before the JK Dobbins injury as your third or even fourth running back, potentially elevate him into your lineup this week against the Raiders in the primetime matchup. He's the clear number one. Even Justice Hill is now out. It's him and Tyson Williams. I expect the Raiders to dominate this game on the ground against that Raiders defense, which was terrible last year, against the run. Lamar Jackson's going to get his. Gus Edwards going to get his. This is a monster game of, of opportunity for Gus Edwards with at least 15 touches, if not more, being the primary carrier there for the Baltimore Ravens. So elevate Gus Edwards if you drafted him late. He's in your lineup for week one. Gus Edwards, in a lesser role last year, still had six rushing touchdowns, and he's averaged 5.2 yards per carry in his career. Yep, Gus Edwards was usable last year as a flex play with the right matchup during certain weeks, even with a healthy J.K. Dobbins. He is now, his value is through the roof. And really, you got to almost readjust your roster to force him into lineups, I think, especially this week against the Raiders. Scott, let's slide over to the wide receiver position. Your wide receiver sleeper, number one. I'm going to stay with the Ravens. And this is going to shock some of you. Yeah. But the Raiders have a very young defensive secondary that's one of the worst in the league. So I'm going with Sammy Watkins on Monday Night Football. Uh, to have a very good game. Uh, Watkins has disappointed us before, but he's the number one right now in Baltimore in terms of pass catchers and is the most proven of all the Ravens wide receivers. And I won't take credit for this next stat, uh, but Alan Bell of sportsline.com, I'll credit him. He pointed out, if you're betting this game as well, that the Ravens have outscored their opponents 144 to 19 in their last three season openers. So that means they're going to roll up the points. I like Edwards. I like Sammy Watkins. There you go. Makes a ton of sense. Absolutely. I'm going to go with Russell Gage against the Philadelphia Eagles. People seem to be sleeping on the fact that Russell Gage was a usable, very usable piece for Matt Ryan. 109 targets last year. Going against an Eagle defense that is weak in the secondary. Okay. Even though Kyle Pitts is there. Okay, just like with Julio Jones, who was in and out of the lineup all year, Russell Gage will be on the field playing with the same quarterback he played with who threw to him 109 times last year. Russell Gage is good for eight targets, potentially six or seven catches. He gives you a safe floor with upside this week against the Philadelphia Eagles. Scott, who's your wide receiver too? I'm going to go with Michael Pittman Jr. in the Colts season against the Seahawks. Uh, if Seattle has one concern, I think it's in the secondary. DJ Reed, pretty good corner, but uh, if he ends up against Pittman, we'll have to wait and see because where they line up Pittman, the Seahawks corners don't travel, but he'll have a definite height advantage. Uh, Trey Flowers has had a better preseason, but I think the Seattle corners are still a concern. And I think, you know, in the NFL, when teams have a perceived weakness, the opponent's going to attack that. I'm, I'm looking at Michael Pittman out of having a breakout year, and it begins in the season opener. Love it. You and I have talked about it. We love Michael Pittman this year, and, yes, it starts week one. My second wide receiver, Marvin Jones, the veteran with the Jacksonville Jaguars. DJ Chalk looks like he's going to be 100% coming off the broken finger, but what does every young quarterback love? 
They love a veteran wide receiver. And if I'm going to pick on Detroit for being potentially terrible, I got to do the same with the Houston Texans. Marvin Jones could be another PPR darling for Trevor Lawrence. People always underestimate the veteran. This is a terrific matchup against the defense last year that allowed the seventh most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. They're still not a good defense. In fact, arguably they are worse with players like J.J. Watt out of town. Marvin Jones, Sunday against Houston. Love him and get him in some lineups. Scott, the tight end position, who is your sleeper there? Again, we'll go back to that Colts-Seahawks game. The Seahawks are looking to fix what was broken during the second half of the last year, and that is moving the ball more effectively in the high-percentage passing game. One of my top sleepers for this year is Gerald Everett. He averaged 5.9 yards after the uh, average 5.9 yards after the catch last year. That was third in the NFL. The Seahawks are looking to get more yardage after the catch this year, and essentially using Gerald Everett as their third wide receiver at, on passing downs. They want to get him involved right away. I believe he's going to catch some key passes and get into the end zone for the Seahawks in his first game in a Seattle uniform. Love the opportunity Gerald Everett has this year with Seattle. I'm going deep here at the tight end position, Scott. Tyler Croft of the New York Jets. Chris Herndon's been moved out of town. Tyler Croft was a favorite of Zach Wilson during the preseason and will be the guy. Okay, a young quarterback, new wide receivers. Jamison Crowder missing the game due to COVID. Okay, Corey Davis is his first option. I expect Tyler Croft to be a red zone target for Zach Wilson against the Carolina defense that gave up a ton of points to the tight end position last year. Zach Wilson will look for Tyler Croft, especially in the end zone. He is my deep sleeping tight end for week one of the fantasy football season. All right, everybody. Guys, make sure you give Scott a follow on Twitter at Scott E. The King. Follow me on Twitter at Aniano Fantasy. Head over to RoadWallet.com and sign up for those premium packages. Promo code King or promo code Aces, saving you an additional 10% off. And don't forget, Scott and I will be with you each and every week, helping you prepare with some sleepers, okay, and, and, and player values each and every week, whether it's your season long or DFS leagues. Scotty, this has been fun as always, my friend. Good luck this week. We need to talk. We got some lineups to set. Everybody else, stay smart, stay safe, and we'll see you next time right here on the King and Pocket Aces brought to you by Rotoballer Radio.